From the West, let's move to the center of the continent where another man is fighting for his political survival. Felix Shisekedi announced last year that he will be in the race for presidency again. The president of the Republic of Congo joins a crowded list of presidential hopefuls including opposition heavyweights and a Nobel Peace Prize winner. Here's a report from Kinshasa. Supporters of Felix Shisekedi gather in front of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Sini, in capital Kinshasa. President of the Democratic Republic of Congo filed his candidacy for a second term, joining the already crowded list in this turbulent Central African country. But it is Dennis Mukwege who is emerging as the star of the moment. He's a surgical gynecologist and a Nobel Peace Prize winner. His announcement to stand for December presidential elections is well received. Addressing a packed auditorium, the doctor says he wants to save a country riven by insecurity and poor leadership. We are on the right side of our people's interests. In the face of decadence, we can't wait for it to disappear before taking action. Tomorrow will be too late. That's why I'm ready and I'm going now. He was jointly awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 2018 alongside Yazidi activist Nadia Murad for efforts to end sexual violence as a weapon of war. The pioneering doctor founded the Panzi Hospital and Foundation in conflict-torn Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo after witnessing the horrific injuries and diseases suffered by the rape victims. Another one in the race is opposition politician Martin Fayulu who was keeping the suspense alive for the past few weeks until he confirmed his candidacy for the presidential election. We are going to continue to fight to demand greater transparency in the elections, just as we did not achieve transparency through the audit of the electoral register. We will achieve it through election monitoring. Then there is the longtime politician, Moïse Katumbi, a businessman and a former governor. He was the first to announce that he will be taking on Shisekedi in the polls. Katumbi returned to the country after years of living in exile. Forced exile is very difficult and if you have not done anything wrong, I know that returning is a risk. There are people who called me not to come back. Don't come back, Mr. Katumbi. You'll be murdered or whatever. I'm not afraid of anyone. The Independent National Electoral Commission announced the election date in 2022. After the poll announcement last year, President Shisekedi expressed his intention to stand again in 2023 during a general assembly at the Congolese National Assembly. I am proud to confirm that the Congolese government while remaining open to the support of our technical and financial partners, is financing 100% of the budget of the current electoral cycle according to the disbursement plans agreed with the Electoral Committee. Shisekedi's inauguration ceremony in 2019 capped more than two years of turmoil sparked by Kabila's refusal to step down when he reached the constitutional limit on his term in office. The last two presidential elections before that, in 2006 and 2011, both won by Kabila, were marred by bloodshed and dozens died in a crackdown on protests after he chose to remain in office in 2016. A country the size of continental Western Europe, the former Belgian colony lived through two regional wars in 1996-97 and 1998-2003. M23 rebels, a mostly Congolese Tutsi group, resumed fighting in late 2021 after accusing the DRC of having failed to honour an agreement to integrate its fighters into the army. Bureau Report, Beyond World is One.